the tech from CDI came and said, you know, the radiologist found a couple things, which then of course sparks a lot of anxiety and oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening, what is it? It sounds very scary, but what I always tell women is, it's not going to be as bad as you think. And? We're using lidocaine, which is a local numbing medicine, and it's very similar to going to the dentist. Just local numbing, so you're awake the whole time. And then we go in and we take really teeny tiny little pieces of tissue to get a diagnosis, and by the time it's done, 98 to 99% of women say, wow, that was not nearly as bad as I was expecting. Like, that was fine. Hi, Anne. My name is Dr. Harrison with the breast imaging. So we'll use the ultrasound probe to find the area we need to biopsy. And then I'm going to numb the skin. Then we numb a little bit deeper in the breast. Give it a couple seconds. The patient should be totally numb at this point and should feel only pressure but not anything sharp. So when I take a sample, that is the sound of it. Then we make a teeny tiny little nick in the skin. We go in and take just a couple teeny tiny pieces of breast tissue. Our first sample. Okay. And then we generally put a little clip in the breast, a little piece of titanium, maybe two millimeters, just to mark where we were, and once the clip is in, we're done. Everything comes out of the breast. And we're all done. We've taken all the samples. And I think we hold pressure for a couple minutes, and then the woman gets a gentle mammogram, very gentle, just to make sure that clip is in the area that we you know, expect it will be. The main difference is we use mammograms to sample the area. And we generally reserve stereotactic biopsies for those findings we only see on mammography. The only difference is, you know, in addition to taking images, then we also then use those images to kind of guide us where to go in the breast, just as before, take teeny tiny little pieces of that area, and then we're done. Mary? Hi, Mary. Also, I'm Mary. Yes. Great. My name's Kathy. I'm going to do your MRI today. Okay. There's a lot of findings that we see on MR that we don't see on mammogram or ultrasound. So if we can only see something on MRI, then we have to do an MRI-guided biopsy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move you in. For okay. MR-guided biopsy, you go into the coil, we take a picture, bring you back out. Once we see that area, then we're going to go and, and sample it. So make a teeny tiny little nick in the skin, go in and take just a few teeny tiny pieces of breast tissue, and send them off to the pathologist. So we make sure that we can get them in quickly so we can get them an answer quickly. And they're not just, you know, waiting scared for over a week. I will say the radiologists were amazing from CDI. They were on the phone with me um, and in person. And right when the results were available, I got that information right away. That's one of the great things about CDI is we're all on the same page, patients first. And if a woman needs a biopsy, we just rally together and make that happen sooner rather than later.